behind it. That's what I was talking about before. Once again, the grapple leads nowhere. Oh, nice kick. Midway in the uh, combinations. And that's it. End of the third and final round. And uh, I'm pretty sure that we've got another heavyweight. Good to see Charlie Smiler come back after the two-year layoff, and it's uh, always going to be difficult to start off after that that bigger period out of the ring. So uh, big up to him, and good to see you back, Charlie. Keo going to do the honours again. Well, Vinny, 90 kgs, carried it well, and uh, yeah, still had the speed, still had the good combinations. And a well compiled win. Well, we're just going to have a bit of a demonstration. Spike Chamberlain and Shannon Foreman out there. Spike in the blue gloves, Shannon in the, in the black. And good to get the opportunity to see how these boys look. Um, big fights coming up, as I mentioned before, Spike in the S1 and Shannon in a bout against Steve Donaldson. Uh, I think the weight for the S1 is 72 kgs and the fight between Shannon and Steve Donaldson, 70 kgs. So both looking good, good Nick. Just two and three weeks out from their respective bouts. Of course, the Foreman Donaldson fight is on the Philip Lamb card, going to be held at the Ocean City Chinese restaurant. It's all been revamped apparently, so changed things and enlarged the, the venue. So um, that's going to be, be where these two boys will fight. And of course, the S1 going to be at the stadium, at Manukau Stadium, whatever that's called, where they hold New Zealand Idol. Where's that called, Robin? Telstra? Or? Telstra Stadium. Telstra Stadium, yeah. Shannon, uh, we haven't seen Shannon fight in Auckland for a while. But he is always a pleasure to watch. He's a, uh, a very technical fighter. He's a fighter. That um,
mentioned about Spike being the dark horse in the S1. He's a fighter that uh, I've always had a lot of time for. His injuries over the years have precluded him from reaching the, the heights that I think he, he's capable of going. Um, and it shows you that now he's injury free. He shows the, the toughness and the mental attitude to get in and fight the best in the world. And one lot and Chopper Chapman are the best in the world. So it's, uh, it's a big thing for uh, Spike to be able to go out and pit his skills against those sort of fighters. Just gives it a yardstick. And even if he doesn't come away with the major prize, which I think he's capable of doing, you never know in, a, in a, any fight, and especially in a tournament situation, just what can happen. And this guy, who knows, he's got the opportunity to be fighting for half a million baht and um, the S1 title. So big ups to Spike and combat video will be right behind him in his endeavour. Just looking at Shannon, I don't think he'd have much weight to lose for his bout. He looks pretty much around the 70 mark, just maybe a couple of kilos. And Spike looks in excellent shape as well. Well done, guys. Fighters out to the centre of the ring for the WKBF Commonwealth title, a full Muay Thai belt, and Hori Bellis with his back towards us up against Australian Glenn Sewell. John Conway will take charge of this one in the judges' chairs. We've got Scotty Thompson, Kia Soot, and Chris Martin. So a good representation of all the gyms. Not involved in the fight. And time on. Five rounds of war coming up. And Who's going to take the first, the initiative? Ballas comes forward. They get into a bit of a grapple. Of course, uh, Glenn Sewell, a former WMC uh, champion. So the Muay Thai sport will be uh, up his alley. Nice thigh kick there from Ballas. He tries to use the distance. That one partially checked. Oh, and Ballas goes downstairs with a left-right combination before coming over the top with the right hand. Caught the attention of Seawall. He can take a shot, though. But he won't want to take too many of them, that's for sure. So he wraps up. Well, Sewell using the experience in the grapple, putting all the weight on to Bellis. Hey, 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 
Uh, real strength sapping start to the fight. And John Conway says we'll have you as a part, boys. End of the first, and Glenn Seawolf's corner that we go to. Last saw him fight over here in 2001 when he took on Doug Viney. He's fought spasmodically over the years um, since then, and what he has done is won a four-man eliminator. He uh, beat Edward Marsh, a New Zealand fighter, and Matt Samoa, a fighter now on the K1 circuit. So a uh, very capable fighter on his day, and he'll be hoping that his day is today. Trained now by... Craig Zendelay and Freaky Sewell comes out to the centre of the ring for round number two. Well, nice catch by Ballas. Wind up thigh kick just short of the mark from Ballas. Seawall goes to the inside of the thigh, tries to soften up the legs. Ballas the fighter that uh, always keeps the, the guard high, makes it very difficult. Tries to come over with the right hand, does Ballas. Seawall wraps up, puts all the weight on to uh, Ballas. Hurry trying to work those knees on the inside, but John Conway have none of it, and they both go for the front kick, and Seaswell was, was more the accurate. Slow round as a uh, just try and work out a, a, an attack that will work for for them. Showing plenty of respect, and see will keep him Bellis away with that front kick. And uh, my guess is that Seawell, who hasn't fought too often over the last couple of years, is uh, going to try and save some petrol for later on in the fight. And we get to the end of round number two, come over to the red corner. The last time we saw Hori on uh, combat video was up against George Tangapo. Good three round win over him back in d uh, September last year. He has fought since then, he fought a Nozzy. Um, but this is his biggest fighter. He's the uh, uh, biggest fighter. He's been a North Island title holder and uh, WKBF heavyweight title fighter. Um, but he hasn't fought for the Commonwealth title before, so uh, it's a it's a big thing. And of course, full elbows. No one's thrown an elbow as yet. But oh. I'll see. We'll ready to uh, make the big charge but Vellis was ready for it with the front kick moves round to the side now Seawall trying to get that knee up high go for the head 
Ballas comes forward, tries to land that big right hand, and now some roughhouse tactics as Ballas just about disappears into the darkness over the top rope. Hometown crowd get behind their man. And it's a catch by Seawall this time. So that's one each in that department. Glenn Seawall negating anything that Hurry can um, do in round number three so far. And maybe the tactic that I mentioned is starting to come into, into play as Seawell is a little bit busier in this one. Still Bellis going forward though, trying to cut the ring off. Goes downstairs but uh, is all tied up before he can land that right hand bomb of his. Dallas stalking, 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 but Sewell ready for anything that he can throw. Forced back into the rope, but bounces off and gets into that heavy grapple again. And yeah, we go out to his corner and a bit of purpose in the stride of Glenn Sewell as he goes back to the blue corner. Picked up the pace a little bit in that rounded uh, Sewell. And the way that all the heads are, are bowling, you'd have to say that they think they're on target as far as their plan is concerned. All positive over there by the look of things. Round number four, over the halfway mark and uh, it, neither fighter really grabbing this fight by the throat. Oh, this is tiring stuff. And he's got the vice-like grip on his Seawall. Dallas happier away from that bear hug and works his way forward. Yeah, slams one into the body. Change of tactics from the Balmoral camp. Ah, a little bit of... Uh, a glimmer of an opening there and Ballas was onto it like a shot, but Sewell equal to the occasion. Uh, nice kick, only partially blocked and you could hear it from up here. John Conway having plenty to do in this one. Trying to keep it flowing as much as he can. It's not in the plan of Freaky Seymour. And there goes the first elbow thrown. It was wide of the mark. But the intentions have been given, will that open the floodgates? But no, it's Seawall just wants to get in there and close things down. Ellis, working forward, nice stinging right hand. And the bell goes for the end of the fourth, one to go, and we're over in Bellis's corner. <laughs> 